blood is a body fluid that delivers substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transport metabolic waste products away from those same cells. Blood accounts of about 8% of person's body weight. Blood volume is 5 to 5 and half liters in adults. Blood is a liquid connective tissue. Like all connective tissues, it's made up of cellular elements and extracellular matrix. The cellular elements, referred to as the form elements, include red blood cells, white blood cells, and cell fragments called platelets. The extracellular matrix, called plasma, makes blood unique among connective tissues because it's a fluid. This fluid, which is mostly water, perpetually suspends the form elements and enable them to circulate throughout the body within the cardiovascular system. The cellular elements of blood include a vast number of erythrocytes and comparatively fewer leukocytes and platelets. Plasma is a fluid in which the form elements are suspended. A sample of blood spun in a centrifuge reveals that plasma is the lightest component. It flows at the top of the tube separated from the heaviest element, the erythrocytes by a buffy coat of leukocytes and platelets. Gametic read is a percentage of the total sample that is comprised of erythrocytes. Three groups of plasma proteins, albumins, globulins, and fibrinogen, are classified according to their various physical and chemical properties. Albumins the most abundant plasma proteins contribute most extensively to the colloid osmotic pressure by virtue of their numbers. They are also non-specifically bind many substances that are poorly soluble in plasma, such as bilirubin, bile salts, and uh, penicillin for transport in plasma. There are three subclasses of globulins, alpha, beta, and gamma. Like albumins, some alpha and beta globulins bind poorly water-soluble substances for transport in the plasma, but these globulins are highly specific as to which passenger they will bind and carry. Example of substances carried by specific globulins includes thyroid hormone, cholesterol, and iron. Many of the factors involved in the blood clotting processes are alpha and beta globulins. In active circulating proteins, which are activated as needed by specific regulatory inputs belong to the alpha globulin group, for example. The alpha globulin angiotensinogen is activated to angiotensin, which plays an important role in regulation salt balance in the body. The gamma globulin are the immunoglobulins, antibodies, which are crucial to the body's defense mechanism. Fibrinogen is a key factor in blood clotting. Plasma proteins are synthesized by the liver with the exception of gamma globulins, which are produced by lymphocytes, one of the types of white blood cells.
erythrocytes are flat, disc-shaped cells indented in the middle on both sides. Each millimeter of blood contains about the 5 billion erythrocytes. The structure of erythrocytes is well suited to their main functions of oxygen transport in the blood. Functions Respiratory Ability to attach oxygen and carboxygen Nutritional Ability to absorb amino acids on its surface Protective Ability to bind toxins Participation in hemostasis Enzymatic Are carriers of various enzymes Contains Carbohydrates Regulation of blood pH Gemoglobin buffer system Participation in water salt metabolism Maintaining of ionic homeostasis due to exchange of ions between the plasma and red blood cells. Red blood cell production or erythropoiesis is a continuous process. In adults, the principal sites of red cell production are the marrow space of vertebra, ribs, breastbone, and pelvis. Within the bone marrow, the red cell is derived from primitive precursor or erythroblast, a nucleated cell in which there is no gemoglobin. Proliferation occurs as a result of several successive cell divisions. During maturation, gemoglobin appears in the cell and the nucleus becomes progressively smaller. After a few days, the cell loses its nucleus and is then introduced into the bloodstream in the vascular channels of the marrow. The rate of production of red blood cells is controlled by hormone erythropoietin, which is produced largely in the kidneys. The rate of production of red blood cells is controlled by hormone erythropoietin which is produced largely in the kidneys. When the number of circulation red cells decreases or when the oxygen transported by blood diminishes, an identified sensor detects the change and the production of erythropoietin is increased. Circulation. Erythrocytes live up to 120 days in the circulation cell, after which the worn out cell are removed by a type of myeloid phagocytic cell called macrophage, located primarily within the bone marrow, liver, and spleen. The components of degraded erythrocytes gemoglobin are further processed as follows. Globin, the protein portion of gemoglobin, is broken down into amino acid, which can be sent back to the bone marrow to be used in the production of new erythrocytes. Gemoglobin that is not phagocytized is broken down into circulation, releasing alpha and beta chains that are removed from circulation by the kidneys. The iron contained in the hem portion of gemoglobin may be stored in the liver or spleen. The non-iron portion of hem is degraded into the waste product bilirubin, is green pigment, and then into another waste product bilirubin, yellow pigment. Bilirubin travels in the blood to the liver, which uses in the manufacture of bile a compound released into the intestine to help emulsify dietary fats. In the large intestine, bacteria breaks the bilirubin apart from the bile and converts into urobilinogen and then into stercobilin, and then eliminated from the body in the feces. 
The breakdown pigments formed from the destruction of gemoglobin can be seen in a variety of situations. At the site of an injury, bilirubin from damaged RBCs produced some of the dramatic colors associated with bruising. With a failing cleaver, bilirubin cannot be removed effectively from circulation and causes the body to assume a yellowish tickle associated with the jaundice. Stercobilins within the feces produce the typical brown color associated with this waste, and the yellow of urine is associated with the urobilins. Hemolysis is the destruction of the red blood cells membrane and release of hemoglobin into the blood plasma. Types of hemolysis, osmotic, the destruction of red blood cells as a result of decrease in osmotic pressure and chemical, the destruction of red blood cells under the influence of substances that destroy the shell of red blood cells. Thermal occurs under the influences of freezing in the blood with subsequent warming. Blood segmentation rate is rate at which the cells settle down. In the lens of clear supernatant plasma measured in millimeter after the end of one hour. White blood cells of blood act against invading bacterial and viruses. The lymphocytes are intimately connected with the immunity of the body. White blood cells can be divided into granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes, neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils. Agranulocytes, monocytes, lymphocytes. Have a nucleus lifespan of 30 to 20 days main functions is defense normal range between 4000 and 11000 per microliter of blood cell fragments or platelets like a nuclei, about 300,000 milliliter of circulating in blood, have a lifespan of 10 days. Main functions is to prevent bleeding. In our body, the blood performs the following functions. Respiratory function, transportation, excretory, defense, nutritional, homeostatic, which control body temperature and pH of blood. The hemoglobin of red blood cells picks up oxygen in the lungs. The oxyhemoglobin now circulates and discharge the oxygen into the tissue which need it. For this purpose, as it will be shown, the RBC and hemoglobin are ideally designed. Furthermore, the CO2 produced in the tissue are discharged into the blood. It's partly carried by the plasma and partly by the hemoglobin. The CO2 is ultimately disgorged into the lungs. Nutrients from the food you eat are absorbed into the digestive tract. Most of these travel in the bloodstream directly to the liver, where they are proceed and released back into the bloodstream for delivery to body cells. Oxygen from the air you breathe diffuse into the blood, which moves from the lungs to the heart, which then pumps it out to the rest of the body.
Moreover, endocrine glands scattered throughout the body released their products, called hormones, into the bloodstream, which carries them to distant target cells. Blood also pick up cellular waste and byproducts and transport them to various organs for removal. For instance, blood moves carbon dioxide to the lungs for exhalation from the body and various waste products are transported to the kidneys and liver for excretion from the body in the form of urine or bile. Various waste products of the body are carried by the blood and ultimately removed from the body via the kidneys. And products of digestion are absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and transported by the blood to the liver for further processing and them to the tissue who need them. Briefly speaking, this is a mechanism by which the various parameters of our body like the internal temperature, pH, the concentration of various substances, for instance glucose, sodium, potassium, in our body fluids remain within a narrow range. volume of blood is large, around 5 liters in the adult man, and the specific heat of blood is high. Therefore, a good deal amount of heat calories can be absorbed or lost by the blood without a great rise or fall in the temperature. It's to be noted that the enzymes in our body operate satisfactorily on the narrow range of temperature. So either abnormal rise or an abnormal fall of temperature damages the enzymes and ultimately stops all biological activities. In this regard, blood acts as a part of our body water content. Moreover, blood has a high conductivity if an organ becomes hot, liver due to vigorous metabolic activities then heat from the organ it takes out by the blood and distributes throughout the body. Blood also helps to maintain the chemical balance of the body. Proteins and other compounds in blood act as a buffer. The blood contains various buffers, which prevent the rise of the hydrogen ions concentration. Circulation of blood also contributes to the removal of the hydrogen ions, which thereby help to regulate the pH of body tissues. Blood also helps to regulate the water content of body cells. The enzymes of our body act only within a narrow range of pH. Large amount of acids are produced daily by our body as a result of metabolism. Physical and chemical properties of blood, viscosity, relative density, specific gravity, osmotic pressure, oncotic pressure, acid-base balance. Blood viscosity can be described as the thickness and stickness of blood is the measure of the resistance of blood to flow it's five times more than that of water based on time takes for the flow of both in the tube. It depends of number of red blood cells and plasma proteins. Osmotic pressure 7.6 atmosphere is the force that determines the movement of the solvent through the semi-permeable membranes toward a more concentrated solution. 
it depends on quantity of inorganic substances in plasma. Solutions that have the same osmotic pressure with blood are called isotonic of physiological 0.9% sodium chlorine, having less osmotic pressure, hypotonic and more hypertonic. Hypertonic solution or hypertonicity when the osmotic pressure of the solution outside the blood cells is higher than the osmotic pressure inside the red blood cells, the solution is hypertonic. Isotonic solution or isotonicity when the osmotic pressure outside the red blood cells is the same as the pressure inside the cells, the solution is isotonic with respect to the cytoplasm. Hypotonic solution or hypotonicity When the solution outside of the red blood cells has a lower osmotic pressure, then the cytoplasm of the red blood cells, the solution is a hypotonic with respect to the cells. Oncotic pressure or colloid osmotic pressure is a form of osmotic pressure exerted by proteins in blood plasma that usually tends to pull water into the circulatory system, provides a water exchange between the blood and tissues. pH in the absence of pathological states, the pH of the human's body range between 7.35 to 7.45 within the average at 7.4. Why this number? Why not neutral number of 7.0 instead of slightly alkaline 7.4? pH at this level is ideal for many biological processes. One of the most important being the oxygenation of blood. A pH below 7.35 is acidemia and pH above 7.45 is alkalemia. Due to importance of a sustained pH level in the needed narrow range, the human body contains compensatory mechanisms. This discussion intends to impart a basic understanding of acid-base balance in the body while providing a systematic way to approach patients who present with conditions causing alternation in pH. When using the term acidemia or alkalemia, one is denoting that overall the pH is acidic or alkalotic respectively. While not necessary, it can be useful for employ this terminology to distinguish between individual processes and the overall pH status of patients since multiple imbalance can happen at the same time. Gemoglobin is found only in red blood cells. A gemoglobin molecules has two parts. First, the globin portion, a protein made up of four highly folder polypeptide chains, two subunits and two subunits, and four iron containing non-protein groups known as heme groups, each of which is bound to one of the polypeptides. Gemoglobin is a pigment. In addition to carry O2, gemoglobin can also combine with the following. First, carbon dioxide. Gemoglobin helps transport this gas from the tissue cells back to the lungs. Second, the acidic hydrogen ion portion of ionized carbonic acid, which is generated in the tissue level from the CO2. Gemoglobin buffers this acid to that it minimally alters the pH of the blood. Third, carbon monoxide. This gas is not normally in the blood, but it inhaled 
it preferentially occupies the O2 binding sites of gemoglobin, causing CO poisoning. 4. Nitric Oxide In the lungs, the vasodilatator nitric oxide binds to gemoglobin. This NO is released at the tissues, where it relaxes and dilates the local arterioles. Vasodilatation helps ensure that the O2 rich blood can make its vital rounds and also helps stabilize blood pressure. Protein buffers in blood plasma and cells. Nearly all proteins can function as buffers. Proteins are made up of amino acids which contains positively charged amino groups and negatively charged carbon groups. The charged regions of these molecules can bind hydrogen and hydroxy ions and thus functions as a buffers. Buffering by protein accounts for two-thirds of the buffering power of the blood and most of the buffering within cells. Hemoglobin is a principal protein inside of red blood cells and accounts for one-third of the mass of the cell during the conversation of CO2 into bicarbonate hydrogen ions liberated in the reaction are buffered by hemoglobin which is reduced by the dissociation of oxygen this buffering helps maintain normal pH the process is reversed in the pulmonary capillaries to reform CO2 which then can diffuse into the air sacs to be exhaled into the atmosphere Phosphates are found in the blood in two forms. Sodium dehydrogen phosphate, which is the weak acid, and sodium monohydrogen phosphate, which is a weak base. When monohydrogen phosphate comes into contact with a strong acid, such as hydrogen chloride, the base picks up a second hydrogen ion to form the weak acid dihydrogen phosphate and sodium chloride. When monohydrogen phosphate, the weak acid, comes into contact with a strong base such as sodium hydrogen, the weak acid reverts back to the weak base and produced water. Acids and bases are still present, but they hold onto the ions. Bicarbonate carbonic acid buffer works in a fashion similar to phosphate buffers. The bicarbonate is regulated into the blood sodium as are phosphate ions. When sodium bicarbonate comes 
into contact with the strong acids such as hydrogen chloride, bicarbonate and water are formed. 